Okay, this is what we want to show. We want to show that we took the fast version of this and we use that to begin this video. At the same time, amazingly, We used it to end the video. And we didn't predict that because we thought that we were going to use this ending here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 39 Alternate Edit. In today's episode, we re-entered with the unusual step about talking about a bunch of stuff we did between the last stream and this stream. We reviewed and updated the annotation of this composition here that you're looking at. In particular, we uh, this line here that's called annotation. Uh, we put these bold things in there. We also recorded and produced a video using this music, which video you just saw the open and close of. Uh, and the big aha from that was, uh, as we said, the opening intro, which is an ambivalent energy, which is both urgy and, and resty, uh, did fine for the opening and the closing of that video. And to, to our surprise, at least our theoretical surprise, this, which was uh, went into a half cape, which is urgy, I guess it's not so much a surprise, even as an ambivalence, we would have thought it would, um, I guess it's not a surprise. It left it urgy. It didn't rest. It was all urge. It was all urge. But we don't think that was the issue. We think that the issue was it just was a better bookend to have the same short musical snippet at the open and the close. So that's the first time we did the open and the close music snippet the same. Before that, we did an opening snippet and a closing snippet. And before that, we had a middle snippet. So we're continuing to learn or evolve what we think works and doesn't work, adding music to videos. Speaking of that, we then um, began, the other thing we began between these streams was producing another video that had been previously pre previously recorded. Um, and I can't even zoom in on it because it's rendering right now, but it used the same musical intro and the same snippet for the extra because we said well we learned our lesson on that um, but the interesting thing about this footage is it's called uh, it's a different 3d platform all space vr i'm sure many of you have heard of it microsoft runs it now so um, it had whole new challenges and one of the challenges which we can't show you because it's rendering is that when you are in all space vr shooting something and someone IMs you, private messages you, it blasts up in your camera face. Um, you know, you know, it's like, darn. And so when we edit it, we have to put something to cover it up. We can't delete it because somebody's speaking while that happened. So that did lead us to a, um, a bunch of further reflection on it. What in music compares to working with video footage that has to have the video covered or the sound covered, or sometimes the sound has to be clipped and removed. Like we take whole clips of the whole thing out. And all we can think of so far is if we're adding an originally recorded soundtrack that we have no option. We have no option to go back and re-record it. You know, maybe we're mashing it in from artist one into artist two or our own work. So um, anyway, the other reflection is Today's work was the second major um, work session on this video. We're rendering another test render to look at. The first one we looked at and made a big long list of likes and wishes. And we went down our wishes and tweaked them. And now we anticipate doing that again. And the reason we're kind of harping on the fact that it's going to take three major work sessions for this alternate extra edit video which is just like the one we did before, which was called Extreme Edit, is, you know, there's kind of a tension between letting the video slash music composition find its way and trying to get it done to clear the decks for whatever is next on our list. Um, if you rush it, it 
it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. But if you take too long, that doesn't work either. So there's another kind of balance going on there. So um, we have elected to use um, the video we produced the other day. The other day to share an open mic today. And you saw that video, but we'll show it to you quick, briefly. It is this one here. We'll play it for you again. And we just feel like it needs to be cut off a little bit at the end. However, we don't have time to do that at the moment. Uh, we will acknowledge, uh, which we forgot to do, We one of the other things we did is we we uploaded the twisted, twisting, what is it, the corkscrew animation to another 3D platform. And we'll have to show you that another time. But it ended up, it ended up getting seen by others. We don't know who. So I guess that was an anonymous uh, open mic. But it was our brainstorm room. Um, uh, so our ideas for next time are to review our second test render final edits and tweaks, and then share the wooden corkscrew animation at open mic, and then our good old friend who be determined. We'd like to acknowledge Miss Cleo, and we'd like to acknowledge you guys in chat for your attention, curiosity, and interest. We thank you for whatever time you can spend with us. We do not take it for granted. It makes a huge difference. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.